Hello and welcome. This short video will give you, the driver, an overview of the new and improved driving features on the new CF and the new XF. And you can see for yourself how the best DAF truck has just got even better. All of these new and improved features we're going to be taking a look at enhance driver comfort, safety and fuel economy, which by the way is up to 7% of fuel savings. This guide and the information which you will get will help you have an easy and productive day. So, let's get in the cab. OK, thanks Mandy. Looking at the dashboard layout, you can see a few nice changes, such as new cab interior lighting controls, new cab climate control, new enhanced eco mode, updated driver control systems and the new DAF instrument panel. So, starting with the new interior lighting control, which has four modes. Turn the rotary switch to select the required lighting atmosphere, night drive, relax, flood, and off. Using the plus and minus, you can adjust the level of illumination for night drive and relax, giving you that home from home feeling. So, Ambien's cab lighting is now controlled by a single neat control unit for both your safety and comfort when in the seat. Additionally, toggling between night drive, relax and lights off can be carried out from the comfort of your bunk. Moving across, you have the new cab heating, ventilation and air conditioning system, which also incorporates the optional auxiliary heater. It comes with a smart airco function that cools for as much as required rather than as much as possible. And with the auto function here, you can control with one push of a button, temperature, blower, air distribution and echo. The new location for the instrument panel illumination dimmer and black panel mode, which extinguishes all unnecessary glare in your quarter lights, are conveniently located here. The DPF switch has been updated. The new system also allows for an increase in the interval regeneration cleaning process, all adding to improved fuel economy. Moving to the right-hand steering column stalk, we have the enhanced eco mode. This new system is no different in operation and activation, but functionality has been enhanced. The key features of the enhanced eco mode being the eco mode button has no effect on engine torque, though the biggest driver impact is the change to the shift behavior when the eco mode button is pressed, and the cruise control behavior is also adapted specifically to perfectly suit the eco mode chosen. Let's now have a quick look and see how eco mode works, and so allowing you to get the best from this system throughout your day. You, as the professional driver, can decide to switch the eco mode on or off, depending on current conditions. This clip shows the difference in acceleration, driving in both eco mode, as you see on the left, and eco off mode, seen here on the right. So, as you can see, driving in eco off mode has little or no influence on the acceleration, but certainly has a negative effect in relation to fuel consumption. Turning off eco mode also provides you as a driver the option to gain more tractive power when driving uphill, for example. Note the engine revs and downshifting. The vehicle is now driving the same hill in eco mode, being the most fuel efficient setting. You can clearly see lower engine revs and minimal downshifting, which is made possible due to the availability of full engine torque in eco mode, and so resulting in lower fuel consumption. Moving to the right-hand steering wheel switches, we have the new speed control switches. The cruise function that includes cruise control, adaptive cruise control, predictive cruise control and downhill speed control. The speed control menu switch here, where you can now preset the adaptive cruise control, downhill speed control and predictive cruise control settings prior to setting off, and so making it easier and safer for you to use. And the limiter function here, which includes the variable speed limiter, combined with the downhill speed control. To adjust or preset your preferred cruise function speed options, press the menu switch and navigate to the adaptive cruise control distance setting and off. And as a safety feature, we'll reset to the default distance on key off, should a different driver take over the vehicle which is in line with the philosophy key on ensures the vehicle is in the safest and most fuel efficient setting. The downhill speed control overrun setting or off. And remember, between this setting and the cruise set speed, the vehicle will maximize the use of eco roll. And the improved predictive cruise control setting from maximum economy 
to maximum performance. The five ticks below give you direct feedback on the economy value of your chosen settings. Setting the cruise will bring in your preset speed settings. A new feature is that cruise control now remains active when you apply the brakes as long as the speed remains above the cruise control set speed. When resetting or resuming cruise, the acceleration will also be smooth and economical. And another new feature to mention is your cruise setting is memorized when key off. New with the variable speed limiter is that eco roll situations occur when driving on throttle when the limiter is activated. And to prevent overspeeding, downhill speed control kicks in automatically when the speed is 2 km per hour above the set speed. Finally, the newly designed modern instrument panel with new dials and fonts, including an indication when driving in silent mode, should you have this option. Integrated in the bottom of the speedometer are all your cruise speed settings, and you will also notice the green band in the rev counter has been extended, as the new MX engine has a much lower engine cruising speed. So finally, to the master display, incorporating new features, primarily being the extended tachograph information, which gives you an instant and safe view of your remaining drive and rest time. The new CF and XF set the latest standard in transport efficiency and are the benchmark for driver comfort. The best truck just got even better.